Hello my friends, Rotordil here and I want to tell you all about my experiences with the Barracuda Pro. It's been a while since this headset came out into the market and it's still one of the best headsets you can probably get from Razer. And I kind of had a lot of experiences with it so I said, hey, you know what, I gotta make a video about it. So first of all, I just want to show you guys everything that I still have even after a while since I got this. So you can see I have the case over here. It's a huge case. There is the 2.4 gigahertz dongle over here. This is what you're going to use while you're gaming with this headset. And inside you have the, obviously, the pocket over here for the cables. We're getting two cables with this. One of them is an extend, extension cable and the other is just a USB-C type cable for connecting your dongle. It's a huge case, by the way, kind of too big for my taste, but hey, at least you're getting something. Other than that, I have the box over here and the headset is already on my head. So all in all, the Barracuda Pro from Razer is their kind of do it all, get it all headset. It's expensive and it's supposed to do a lot. It's supposed to be your number one headset for gaming and it's also supposed to be your number one headset for multimedia. So it does everything and that's a good thing because people like me who usually game a lot, they also kind of binge a lot on Netflix and other content providers. So I, I gotta tell you after a ton of experience with this headset and obviously after testing tons of other headsets. By the way, if you're not subscribed, subscribe so you'll see these tons of other uh, headsets reviewed. I gotta tell you guys, I love them. I really love this headset. I think it's an interesting headset. There's a lot of buzz on it on YouTube with people that tested this headset a long time ago when it was released. There were issues with the headset itself, especially with the active noise cancellation. So these are fixed now and now I can actually review this headset from a point of view of somebody who's actually using the final product which works great. So first of all, let's talk about the headset itself. It kind of has all the buttons you would like to have on a headset that has active noise cancellation. So first of all, I'm already connected to two devices. That's a big thing here. That's a big feature here. The first one is my Bluetooth. The second one is my um, 2.4 gigahertz uh, dongle that you saw before. If I press on this button over here, it's called the uh, smart switch. Basically, I can change between my inputs. It's very easy, just double pressing on it, changes the input and you hear, you hear someone actually telling you by voice that the input has been changed. Now I moved from Bluetooth to my uh, computer via the 2.4 gigahertz dongle. Now that's a big feature here because it's very quick to change between these devices. And after checking a lot of other products that connect to two devices simultaneously, I can tell you this is one of the best when it comes to moving between devices. Other than that, we have on the other ear cup, a bunch of buttons, the volume toggle over here. It's a circular one you can change obviously. And we have the on off power switch, which is also a pairing switch if you hold it uh, while turning this on. And also we have the mute button. Now the microphone here, sadly hasn't gotten any better since this was released. So it's not the best microphone, but it's good enough to make phone calls. It's good enough to talk to your Discord friends. It's not good enough if you are planning to record some quality audio for videos like this one. So let's just take a look at what we get once we turn this thing on and actually use it on our computer um, in 2023. So I just want to shift with you guys to the software. As you can see, I'm using Synapse right now or Razer Synapse, whatever. I'm not doing this video in English only. Actually, that's not my tongue language. So I'm sorry if I am screwing up the language, by the way, and I am happy that you're here with me anyway. Thank you very much. So let's just go inside and see the different options. We have the sound tab over here. We can specify the volume. We can change between active noise cancellation features. Now, this headset has the 50 millimeter Triforce branded uh, drivers. I love this driver. I think it's great. It has a lot of deep bass. It has a lot of uh, intense uh, sound on the highs. It sounds great. And with this specific headset, you're also getting THX AAA audio which is awesome. It works great. You can actually specify um, the specific um, EQ for each of your apps, which is also amazing. And you can test it out. As you can see, I'm already in game mode right now. I'll switch to movie mode and I can test out the sound. I just heard something moving into my left ear, like you can see here on the diagram. And uh, it works great. You can really, I mean, you can really feel like this is 
coming from all over the place. And the THX AAA audio really makes you feel the different tones of your sound, which works just great with this headset. I gotta add, before moving on, that if you make mistakes like I did, when I connected the dongle 2.4 gigahertz to a USB 2.0 USB type C plug, I actually have one of these, I didn't get the same quality in audio. That's a big thing here over me, over here. So if you guys also have a 2.4, a 2.0, sorry, a USB 2.0 plug, and you connect this USB type C dongle that you get with this, okay, this guy, you'll have, you, you won't get the best out of the THX. So just make sure that you're doing that. That's one thing I gotta add. So let's go back and uh, see the different features we have in the software, as you can see, tons of different options. This mainly, um, I kind of feel them more when I'm using the headset, not on the THX setting. You can actually preset the headset. You can actually choose between using it with THX on or just like generic mode, which is without THX. You can add bass, you can choose to have sound normalization, which basically cuts off the uh, distorted sounds. And you can also increase voice clarity if you're doing a lot of calls. And you can also define between these presets your EQ and actually create a custom one if you need to. The mic here is a big feature. Um, you have noise cancellation on the mic, you have high cancellation, which is great. It definitely canceled out most of the noise that I have over here in my house. And you can define to have a gain up uh, boost beyond the mic volume, which is something you don't see on many other headsets. So that's something I think is amazing and should be on all of the headset, which on Windows and most of the Windows devices, we don't get that much of a boost on the mic usually. So with this feature, we can add, I added plus six to everything. And as you can see, um, I'll, I'll let you hear it in a moment. There's also an option to turn on mic monitoring and it does have a bit of latency. So I don't like that, like this feature that much. I would actually love it to be uh, some kind of hardware mic monitoring. And uh, yeah, that's it. So now something interesting happened. While I'm recording this video for you guys, I'm getting an incoming call. So while I'm still actually using this on uh, Dongle, I'm hearing somebody telling me incoming call. Inco it's, it's crazy, guys. I love this. I mean, that's why I love this headset so much. I can keep working on it and having connected the headset via my 2.4 gigahertz. I can switch in a moment to an incoming call on my phone uh, without even removing the headsets. That, that's the biggest feature here, it works great. So let's continue on with our little review. There's an option to uh, change the power saving uh, details here, um, sorry, the time here, but the big thing here is that you're gonna get tons of battery life. Razer actually mentions that this has around 40 hours of battery life. And that means at least for me that once a week I get it connected uh, to my power source via the USB plug, USB-C uh, plug, and that's it. That's all I do. Uh, I don't have to connect it to a power source every day. So if I forget, it still works great. So all in all, I just want to show you guys a little example of how the mic sounds. It's not the best microphone like I mentioned, but hey, I hope it's gonna let you know everything that you need after me uh, just showing you how this sounds like in 2023. This is a sound recording example of the Razer Barracuda Pro headset. In 2023, I did add up some 6 dB gain to it, so you can hear it a bit louder, but that's using the Razer Sun app software. Okay, and that's it, guys. That's the Barracuda Pro. You are definitely more than invited to stick with me to my future for my future videos by subscribing. So I'll let you know if something else comes out that's better than this. I definitely recommend it. I'm going to put links in the video description down below. It's a, it's a good headset. It's expensive, but you have discounts now as this is not, not, the new the newest headset that came out into the market and you can probably get this guy and actually have a really good time while using two devices still gaming and actually working with your mobile phone or whatever so thank you very much for watching i'll see you on my future gadget reviews i was auto deal ah one thing i mentioned yeah you also get the app one thing i gotta add i wanted to add this if you are like me, you're, you're gonna use this uh, with the app, just make sure that you move via the smart switch, you move to, um, to the Bluetooth setting because when using this with Dongle, as you can see, I usually get an error when connecting via the app. So by double clicking on the smart switch, 
I'm moving back to Bluetooth. This disconnects the dongle. And then I can actually try again. I'm clicking on try again right here. And you will see that I'll be able to connect to the headset. That's a big thing that at least for me, when I got this was kind of frustrating because I wanted to see uh, my information uh, on the headset and I couldn't do that. I didn't know why. And this was because I was actually connected to both devices and I was set on the uh, dongle. Now, double pressing changes between these two sources. So that's how you do it. Many reviewers don't say that actually. So I was kind of surprised when I was trying to figure out how do I move between devices. Also, pressing a uh, single click switches between the active noise cancellation modes. The active noise cancellation here is good, good enough to cancel out most of the sounds I get over here at my house. And another neat feature that I like is that it's active noise cancellation and it's also hybrid active noise cancellation. So I actually have a breathing mode where I could hear, I could actually change to a, a, a position that basically lets the sound come in into my ear even more than actually having the ANC turned off. That means that basically you can hear the uh, external surrounds of your area um, whenever you want and you can switch on the active noise cancellation by single pressing on this button and that's it. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you on the future gadget reviews. I was Rotodil. Bye bye.